my mother over here. Well, you know, we're together, so you must know by now, if we're together and we're doing a video, we must have what? Timu. It's Timu time. <laughs> Timu time. So, here's my Timu. Yay, we got the Timu. So, this took a little bit. I was, you know, it, it just jumbles all over the place. Like, they go from Miami, and then they go all the way to... Jacksonville and then they come here and this time this one went all the way to Georgia <laughs> then went to Jacksonville then went to here and it's like oh my god you know you wonder how they do these routes sometimes <laughs> I really wonder so anyways as you can see I just got back from camping um he as you've seen I didn't do a video on it this time um it was kind of a disaster a little bit, but at the same time, we had a little fun last night. It wasn't too bad last night, but Shaver's really, really not feeling good. So, um, go see his video on Shaver 1000 so you can see our video from camping, but um, you'll know. He, he tells you the story, so I'll save that so you can go and watch it. All right, guys, for that, I'm going to open this up, and we are going to do this Timu stuff, okay? So, hold on. Okay, guys, we're back. Oh, you're cutting my head off again. All right, so, um, yeah, we're back. So, I got the bag open, so you guys don't need to see that every single time. So, <laughs> you know, it gets a little boring, right? Look, I got poppies again. I love poppies. So, if you want to know the truth, I don't know what the heck this is. Oh, I do. It's in a case, I know that. <coughs> <coughs> Let's see. Here it comes in this. We'll open it up. I think this is part of Bruno's, maybe? I bought him some stuff, so let's see. Oh, yep, yeah, it is. Okay, I bought the pet grooming um, case here. So the pet grooming um, scissors for dogs was ten seventeen, and you get three pairs of scissors. Ooh, we're getting a storm right now. So it's a good thing we came home when we did. So I got three pairs of scissors. They're nice, aren't they? They're pretty. And you get a nice comb for him. And I like the comb because. Um, is it metal? It's yeah, it's metal. So then you know it doesn't bend and stuff if you have a tangle or something. It it just makes it a lot easier, I think it will. Or if they have any dry skin in their in their fur, um, it, nice. it'll come out. Yeah, isn't that nice? That'll work great. Yeah. Yeah. And the teeth are far apart that you can. Yeah, you know. Isn't that nice? I like that. I hope you guys can see that real good. There you go. And I will put the, let me take the scissors out of here too. We're getting a storm right now, so um, you're going to hear some thunder. So here's some scissors here. And, oops, I'm going to lose everything. And the points, it's, it's not pointy. So that way it won't hurt him. I can maybe use these around his eyes, around the area. Those, yeah. yeah because they're, they're not going to hurt him. And I don't think I'll keep these cases, so I'll put it all in here. And see, this is the inside of the case, if you can see it. There you go. I didn't think it would come in a case. No, I didn't either because, um, well, I guess it does. Yeah, it showed it that it had a case on it. I just didn't look at the picture right. <laughs> and here's another pair. Um, they're a little bit, got a little bend in them. Yeah. So maybe this is like around his eyelashes, like above, you know, and yeah. stuff around, you know, because it kind of... Does it come with any instructions? No. Of course no. not. Timu does not have good instructions. Probably because they can't translate. They're probably not. And it's a, it's costly to do uh, all those, you know, directions and stuff, you know, so... Um, and here's another one. These ones are the, what do they call these ones with the uh, shears, shears, aren't they? With the blade kind of in it. 
Oh uh, yeah, they're shears, all right, but they're yeah, uh, they're, they're thinning shears. Yeah, thinning shears. I don't know how often I would use these. I don't know. I have used them on him before. I'm getting tired. Um, I used to do them, and then he fight me. And I was doing. I used to. He just fight me, and so I got tired of that. So then I took a to a grooming place. He has been to six of them, and. You know, you have to float around because they quit. I had one that I liked, and she 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 did it when she felt like doing it. <laughs> it's like, how do you run a business? <laughs> you know, you're supposed to be open to this. And, oh, well, I had stuff I had to do today. Yeah, okay, so let's do it the next day. Oh, no, I, I can't do it the next day. So, I mean... Why work? <laughs> so, I had that problem. Then I found a really good one. Really good one. And I'm like, oh, finally found somebody that came to the house. Because at the time, I was working in the office, helping out in the office. Why I couldn't work, work because of the car accident. So, I could do light duty. Well, CNAs don't have light duty. And, um... So they had me go in the office. So um, I did a video, I think, on that. Anyway, so um, I needed him trimmed. And, you know, a lot of these places close at 5 o'clock. So what could I do, you know? So I had, him, I had him come to the house. Perfect, you know. I can pay for it in advance or after on the phone. And shea bears here my mom is here so they could answer the door and give the dog to them and they're right here in front of the house it was perfect i think i did them twice. they came came to the house twice they came to the house twice then all of a sudden their mobile was too busy so i couldn't get them in and i can't just do month to month and say okay come back next month because i don't know my money situation okay Especially me not really working, working. So, um, you know, I just, I couldn't do it. So, I have to do it when I know I have the money and I can call them and make the appointment, you know. That's the way I have to do it. So, they were always full. All of a sudden. And I get it, you know. Elderly people that can't, don't have a car and have a dog and they want to trim. I get it. You know, I think uh, mobile is the way to go if you're into that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, you need to stay open. And you need to be a, a professional business person. Because if you're not, then don't work. Don't even bother. So, I had them. And then I ended up having to take him to the office. Which, I've been home. So, I was like, okay, no problem. You know, I'm not working. So, no big deal. I think they took him twice down there. I went to call again to make another appointment. And they closed the business down. Completely. Now, it was a mother and daughter. The daughter was doing all the cutting. And the mother did all the appointments. I think they had a big fight. That's what I think. And they decided to go separate ways. And it was a very good business that they had. They were very, very busy all the time. And, um, yeah, I, I, that's my opinion anyways. That's what I get out of the whole situation. So now they're gone. So I'm like, okay, now what do I do? I have to find somebody else. Well, I don't like my dog going to 10 million groomers. I don't like it. It's not right. It's like going to different doctors all the time and not that nobody knows what the heck they're doing because they don't know you. You know, it's the same idea. So I don't like it. I like to have one person and trust them and that's it. Well, I haven't found anybody. You know, I just haven't found anybody. So they're too much or they're scary. You don't want them. <laughs> I got one down the road here. He's got a, a trailer, in, uh, and I'm like, nah, I don't think so. So, anyways, I'd rather them really come to the house if you can find somebody like that, but it's hard to do. So, I'm like, you know what? I'm done. 
Yeah, I'm just going to do them myself. So, I bought these scissors for him. I'm sorry I'm making this long. But I bought the scissors for him and to hopefully, you know, I have old ones and I wanted better ones. So, I'm hoping these ones will work out. You want to put this in here? I'll let you do it. <laughs> so, anyways, that's the story on that. So, I bought him a few things. Let me see if I can find the other ones in here. To. It might be underneath, so I might have to just do a random thing. There's the thunder, you hear it? Yeah. So, anyways, we'll just do a random. I'll find them. Anyways, the next thing I got here is this plastic container. Now, this is for your diamond painting. So, I finally got it. I like this. This is going to be really a change. It, it will help because I can't keep using my plastic stuff to do this. So I haven't been working on it because I've been waiting for this to come. This was $2.57. There's 20, 28 grids of di diamond cubes here for two, what did I pay? Oh, I got two, it was two fifty seven at the time and I got a partial refund on it. <clears throat> so I think this will work out really good. here. She's working on that. Yeah. So then maybe now I won't lose all the diamonds and stuff. I don't want to lose them so I didn't really want to start a new one um, without having this case. And I get understand and see they have four in one and you can do it that way. And then you can label them. I don't have a label thing, but maybe I can just write on them or something with a sharp, um, one of those eraser uh, markers or something and put them on there. Or for now, I might just take the label, the numbers, and just stick it on top so I know. And maybe I'll get a label thing later. We'll see. So that was that. Okay. Now... This thing here, I had already bought once before. This is a Lazy Susan that I put in my cupboard. Well, I want another one. These are great. These are really good. Um, this was, I mainly did got these for the bottles, for my seasoning bottles and stuff. Um, because I have them in baskets, but it really wasn't working out the way I wanted it to. Now, this is supposed to be white. It looks like cream. I don't know if it's the same color or not. I think the other one might be whiter. I don't know. I'll have to see. But, um, yeah. Got a little bent, but I don't care. It's going inside. I didn't buy a fancy one. Because who the hell's going to go in my cabinet anyways and see? You. Yeah, that's it. So, I like it. I think it'll work out good. Yeah. I think, I think you could use that for a lot of things. Oh, yeah. You could use this for makeup. If you wanted to, you know, put all your, your makeup diamond stuff, supplies. Your, your um, yeah, I could do. You could do that. Yeah. Put all your little containers in there. Yeah. Well, I got this, so. But yeah, see, that's what that's for. So, anyways, I got another one of these, so I can put it in there, and I think that'll work out good. I like the other one. So this, it's called a 360 degree rotary storage. Contain, um, storage, what do they call it? Storage rack. Call it. And it comes in a bluish green color and this color, which is like a cream white, I say. Right now it's $1.78. And that's exactly what I paid, it's $1.78. Cool. So I got that. Here. Did you get it? Yeah. Thanks. Alright, so this is. Oh, okay. This I bought for my mother. There you go. I took this out. What the hell is that? This is an organizer for, I'm going to use it for her um, pajamas in her drawer. So she can fold them up real neatly and I think it will help her make some more room in there. Ooh, this is really tiny. <laughs> Not as big as you think, but maybe it's just got to be stretched out. You know, once you start putting, and you fold them, and then you put them in the little holes. She could put her socks in here, underwear. She could do anything with this. Mm. So, 
I'm going to put her, I'm going to try to see if I can get her pajamas in here. But it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's a lot smaller. But we'll try it and... I could use it for socks. I got tons of socks. Yeah, you can put socks in here. Mm -hmm. You can put anything you want in here. And then you put this inside your drawers and it gives you some extra room and stuff. It gives you, keeps it neat and tidy so you don't throw them all over the place. So it is, how much I paid? I paid $1.58 for this. Oh well, that's worth so it. So we'll try it and see. And it's called a wardrobe clothes organizer. That's what they call it. So if you're you never get your wardrobe in here. <laughs> well, maybe it's for babies. <laughs> I don't know. This is really small. A lot smaller than I thought. It really is. But we'll try it and see if we can get you fold things the right way and you can get it all right another thing i got is i got another mat i got another one and this completes my bathroom so i got two of these and then i got the one around the toilet that you have seen in my other videos so this one i paid a dollar 78 for i'm not going to take it out because you already seen it so I will put that in the bathroom, and I got gray because my bathroom's gray. So I did that. Okay, this thing here is for my mother. It's for her walker. This is what I've been waiting for because she's got her new cup. Yes, my new cup. Yeah, I'm gonna open this up. My she new got, cup. And she really likes her new cup that she can't balance it on her walker without it falling so i don't want it to fall on my tile and crack my tile or it break i don't think it would break it might crack some of that plastic on the outside but um it's metal so anyways i don't want to do that so this goes on her walker if you guys can see that and this piece here it goes on that and it's part of the uh it's for her cell phone. So she can carry her cell phone and carry her cup and all together. You can put this on a wheelchair, a stroller, anything. And what I'll do, I'll put it on her walker and I'll have it at the end of this video so you guys can see it. Let me see your cup. I'm going to see if it's going to fit in there. They say that they do fit in here. So, yeah. See? Perfect. Isn't that nice? And then she can, I can take it off the walker and when we go somewhere, I can put this on her wheelchair and she can have her cup and her cell phone. So I'll put it all together on there when we're done and uh, I'll have it at the end of the video for you guys. So I paid $5.68 for this. So hopefully, is it cheap? Eh. It's pretty good plastic, I think. Um, yeah, I kind of think it's a great idea. She can carry her cell phone everywhere because when we leave the house, I have to put her cell phone on her walker and she leaves it places. This way she'll always have her cell phone with her if she needs to call 911 or call me. So this is going to work out, I think, really good. Yeah, I do too. So I'm happy to get that today. Okay on the mission okay this is for bruno these this is the way the box came okay crumpled up these are pet nail grooming uh, i i have a pair that i don't like them um because it's too easy to cut too, too low too low and to make them bleed and i don't want to do that so these are supposed to help prevent that um, these were, let me see, these are a pet nail grinder for dogs and cats. They were $4.67. So, I wonder if it works. This is the way it looks, guys. It's a grinder. Yeah, it's a grinder instead of a nail color. So then I'm not going to hurt them. Oh, yeah. No, it must take batteries. Yeah, it does. I'll have to get some batteries and put it in there. But there you go. And we'll test it out when I do him. 
Um, I'm not going to do them today, but I am going to do them sometime this week. So maybe I'll do a video on it um, <laughs> and you can see me using them. Okay? So, um, yeah. So I got that. And hopefully that will work and maybe not make him so nervous. <coughs> because I did cut him once and when I did cut him after that, he would tuck his paws under and he wouldn't let me do him. And that's when I started doing the grooming thing and paying for it. And now he's kind of got out of that because he's got used to the groomers a little bit. So now I don't want to hurt him, at, uh, you know, again. So I want to try those and see how well they work. Okay, and the other thing I got from Bruno is right here. Oh, nice. This is the way the package came. This is for Bruno. I got him some um, grooming clippers. I got some new ones. The ones that I have, I still have, but I've had them for a long time, and they get very hot. They overheat. I don't like that, and it's burning him. So I have to be careful with those. Yeah, and when you want to groom a dog, you want to do it and get it done because they get they get antsy and they'll disappear on you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they go underneath the bed and they don't come out for days <laughs> kind of thing. So, anyways, yeah, this box got beat up pretty good. Did something fall out of it? No. I got, it's got a, um, it's got a directions right here. Let me see if they're English, so you'll know. Oh, okay. So pictures. Yeah, they give you pictures. On. That's English. So here's the pictures. I gotta bring you guys closer. It's hurting my arm. I'm sorry. My arm is killing me. And um, there, you got pictures there, and then you got directions on the back. On there. So, you can read that if you want. Um, this was uh, $9.78. What I like about this one, it's cordless. You see, my other one that I bought at Walmart is not. So, this is cordless. And you use a USB cord with it, which I like. It's very light. It's not heavy like the other one. This might be already charged because they put a piece of tape here. If you can see that. And uh, take that off. And let's see if it's... Yeah. There you go. It works. It works. Woo! It's vibrating. That's nice. It's nice in your hand. Very nice and light. Oh, I have fun, fun doing this. Maybe it won't get so hot. You know, that's what I, I'm worried about is the heat of the other one was so hot and um, I have to stop or, you know, I'm trying to get it done and I don't realize it's hot and it's burning him. I think I got him underneath his arm the last time I did him and it kind of, he was in pain. He had a sore there and I think it was because that thing got too hot. So I got this one. I hope it works out better than the other one. So they give you four guards you get four of them so here's different sizes oh, I can't reach I just can't friggin reach there I can do it at this end and um, and there's the other two so you get four okay four guards and then you get a little brush it didn't give me no oil though, but I do have some oil in my other one I can use on this one if I have to. They usually give you a little bit of oil, you know, to to for the blade. They don't need it. So it doesn't um, rust. I don't know. Oh, it does, it has different. Oh, cool. Different sizes here. Let me let me show you guys. So you see the numbers there, and you can turn it to different sizes. Is that according to the guards? Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, I'm going to have fun trying to do this one. It's so light. I really like it. Nice. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Don't waste the battery. I'm going to make sure it's fully charged. I don't know if it is or not. 
So we'll check this out and we'll do Bruno sometime this week and I will maybe do a review on it with him. So hopefully. And you know, I just, it's extra work for me to do him. But I don't like the idea of having to switch to different groomers all the time. It's ridiculous. And you pay a good amount. I, I took him to one groomer and it cost me almost $60 to do him. Then I, you know, and the people that were coming to the house is only 45. Yeah. You know, so I mean, and I didn't like the one that I paid the more for. She, I just didn't like, I didn't like them. And I thought $60 for Bruno was just a little bit much, even though, um, you know, I mean, it's hard work. I get it. It's, it is hard work for dogs to be groomed and washed and all that. It's not easy. But, you know, I have to watch my money, too. So, if I can do it at home and he feels more comfortable and I don't have to take him to 10 million different groomers, then so be it. I will do it. Okay. So, now we're going to move on since we did all the doggy stuff. And, okay. So, the next thing I got are my running shoes. I got a pair of running shoes and I lost my spot here. Okay, now, these ones are white. Ooh, these are light. Ooh, they're really white. Oh, they ain't gonna stay white long. Not with you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, they're not gonna stay white long. Not with me. They're cute. They're really cute. But these are a 9.5. So, um... That's what I got. Is that what you usually wear? I, I have gotten, I don't know with them, They you know, I did with my flip-flops, got them a 9.5, and I usually wear a 9. So I'm going to try these on. They say a 40 inside. So that's a European size. Yeah. Well, their sizes are always different than ours. So I'm going to put these on, maybe. I might not get my foot in here very well. Uh, let me see. Oh, okay. Yeah, they fit. They fit. I'll do a video at the end so you guys can see. They feel good. So the deal on these, I bought two pair. Okay, hold on. I got two, I got another pair. Okay, they're the same. Only they're these ones are in pink. <laughs> So, I got a pink pair. Wow, they are pink, too. And mostly I bought these to go walking, because I need to get back into the walking thing. Um, my arm's just been hurting, but I'm thinking, you know, maybe if I do the walking thing, maybe my arm will stop hurting. You know, blood circulation, that's what I'm thinking. So, there they are. They're cute. I like them. Okay, so, what happened was, I bought these first, okay? And these were... These were $15.48. That's what I paid for them. Okay? So, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there was a sale. And the sale was showing the white ones for $3.38. So, I got the white ones for $3.38. But what I was trying to do is get the pink ones for $3.38 because I had already put them in my basket. But for somehow, I ended up with both pair. <laughs> so I paid three thirty-eight for these and fifteen for these. So you know what? Oh well. So I tried. But these are really nice. Oh, I like them. You should try these on and see if you like them. Okay. Yeah, I will. Yeah, see if you like them. Cause they're very light. I don't know how hard you'd have trouble getting your foot in because this kind of folds down. Maybe after a while it, it'll stand up more. You know, it could be from shipping and stuff. You know, that's what I'm thinking. But that's what it looks like, guys. And let me show you more of them. Now, they are ties. You have to do ties. I know people hate ties. I hate ties. But I'm, I'm going to use these mostly for here, not for work. Um... Cause I'm not working anymore <laughs> so yeah as you can see so I like the pink though don't you aren't they pretty Laura you'd always like pink no matter what 
So I will show you the ends. I'll do a little video um, so you can see them on my foot. And yes, they fit. They fit good. They fit pretty good. Um, the bottom of them is plasticky. It is plasticky. I don't know how well they would do in the rain. I don't know if they grip. They do have little grippy things here. So maybe they would be fine in the rain. I don't know. So anyways, that was the story on the shoes. So I really didn't want the white pair, but I ended you up... You got them. Yeah, I ended up getting them. And they'll be black soon. So... <laughs> But I bet you you can wash these. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can wash them as long as they yeah. don't shrink. Yeah, so maybe I can wash these. Cold water. I might just use these for uh, going shopping or something like that. And I can use my pink ones for walking. So, And I use my flip-flops anyways. So, anyways, we're going to move on here. Okay, guys. So, I bought me a new wallet. Um, I have one, but I have... They're really, it's really a change purse I use and put all my debit cards and stuff in and all that. So, I've never had, I never buy these things. So, I've had that sucker. It came with a purse and that was the reason why and I just keep using it in different purses. I mean, who the heck sees it anyways, right? So, it's brown. So, anyways, this one has compartments in it. So... It has all these compartments in there. So you can see it. So I can put my debit cards in there and they're not all scrunched up together and I'm not having a hard time trying to, to find them because a lot of the times I have to wait to get to the register and go and get my cards first and then I have them ready or people get mad <laughs> because I'm going shuffling through all of them. But I thought that was pretty cool. I really like that. And then there's another front part right here. And you can put your change purse. You can put your change in there if you have it. I don't get much change, but I do get some. Um, you know, once in a while I'll get cash, but most of the time I use my debit card. So that I think will be nice. And it's pink, very pretty. Zipper mm, might be a little bit cheap, but We'll get it to play. Maybe it's because it's new. Yeah, let's see. But um, I think it'll be all right. Yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. It's a little yeah. sticky right there. But um, you put I'll put, once I get my cards in there and it fluffs up a little bit, I think it'll be just fine. So for this, I paid two forty nine for. And they call this a double zipper wallet. They come in, of course, this color. This is light pink. Then they have black, and they have what they call a dark pink. They have a blue, and they have an emerald green, and also a light green. So that's what they have in these. I'll let you, you can play with it if you want. So I got that, yeah. and I'm hoping it'll work a little bit better. You put my cards in it too. Well, yeah, yeah, because I carry all her stuff, so she can't, she has a bad arm, and it's hard for her to carry a purse and try to walk with a walker or, you know, because I try to let her walk like a Dollar Tree. She'll walk with her walker in there or um, small places like Dollar General or something like that she can walk in. But if we go to like Winn-Dixie, uh-oh, battery's low. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. The battery went dead, so I had to change the battery. Okay, so now, let me see. Okay, to go with my little wallet. Now, I, you know I bought a purse before if you've been watching my Timu stuff. Well, that purse didn't work out too good. I'm not happy with it at all. So I did get a partial refund on it the first time for the... Um, the one little strap come off, and I, I sewed it. Well, the other strap completely broke. So I'm like, screw this. I'm not going to use it no more. I'm done with it. So anyways, I went and I tried a different purse. Um, hopefully this will work out a little bit better. I'm going to open this up so you can see it. And it is... This is more... I think this is better. This is... Oh, this is nice. It's like... Like, um... 
parachute material. Yeah, parachute material. So it's not plasticky like the other one. Um, yeah, so it has a compartment in the front, a little compartment right there. It has um, another compartment here. So it has, it's a little bit bigger than the other one. And um, it has another compartment back here. And here is the strap for it. I like the way the strap is. I think it'll look, be really good. Yeah, I do too. Um, I don't know what the hole's for. Where? Back here, I have no idea, but um, yeah. So here's the strap here, so you can see it. And you got clips on this. Yeah, it has clips on this one, so you can clip it. That will work better. I think it will work a lot better. I don't know what the hole is for. I guess it's just a decoration. I don't know. Um, who knows? So let the purse because I like I like I like purses that have straps so I can put it across me because my hands are always full with her and um, you know or Bruno. You know, I have that to worry about. So you can also just carry it. You can hold, hold, hold it from here if you don't want to use the big strap. So I think that'll work out. I did get it in pink. This is a dark pink. Um, it's darker than I thought it would be, but that's fine. I think it'll be fine. And it's waterproof. That's nice. I could take this on the boat and not have to worry about getting wet. So this is called the Minialist Solid Color Crossbody um, cross Bag. That's what they call this. It did come in light pink, and I thought I picked the light pink. Oh, no, it doesn't. It has purple, dark green, black, and this color. So that was the color I picked. Let me see my wallet. And I'm going to take this, and I'll end up putting it in here in one of these compartments. Oh, that's going to fit nice. And I'll, I'll show you a video of it on me so you can see. But, um, yeah, I like it. It's cute. And if I didn't tell you the price, it's $8.49 for this. And I like the strap. Yes. So much better than the other one. Yeah. Let me go get the other one real quick. I'll be right back. So, sorry guys. Um, so this is this is it. This is the one that I bought from them. Now I didn't pay a whole lot, but this had clips on it too. But it's cheap, cheap clips. This is this is very thin. Um, and what happened here? I put a clothes pin a pin there so um, I could use it, but it keeps popping off. So it just it's no good anymore. So and it only had one pocket, but. Yeah, that's all it had. Um, it's cheap plastic. And then you have this one. And this one's much better. So much better value. So it depends where you, who you're getting your products from, the vendor. So um, I would not buy this again, ever. It's garbage. I can't use it. This hopefully will work much better. I think it's cuter too. I like it. And I'll be able to put my cell phone in here too. And I couldn't do it in there because of the wallet and stuff that I have. Um, I couldn't put my <coughs> uh, my uh, cell phone in here. So it was a little harder because it was stuffed. <laughs> but I think this will work a bunch better. So. As long as you don't stuff it. And this will help me a lot. I really think this will help a lot. It'll be a lot easier going to the register and just taking my card out instead of trying to go, like, shuffle. I'm shuffling trying to find the card. <laughs> yeah, because they're all together in one thing, so it's just not working. So hopefully I'll like this better. Okay. Moving on. Okay, so I did the diamond thing, as you guys know. I haven't done any more because I was waiting for that container, and I've been busy. So... My mom and I were on there, and she saw something she liked. And this is a diamond painting um, picture. 
Now, she wants me to do this dummy painting picture, and I'll show you what it looks like so I don't have to take it out. And I'm going to put it on her wall. There you go. That's what it is. And I'm going to put it on her wall. And um, it's so beautiful. Once it gets done, if it gets done. <laughs> maybe I'll help you. Yeah, maybe you can help me. I don't know. But I'm not going to take it out. And it gives you everything you need in here, just like my little kit that I did. Um, yeah, so this is a 30 by 40 centimeters. And it gives you the number here. So if you guys are interested in looking at it, um, yeah. So I got that. So I'm going to put this on a wall when I get it done one day. <laughs> so the next thing I got is for my grandbaby. Um, my daughter has a three-year-old almost. Um, she'll be, her birthday's coming up this month. So I have bought her a couple outfits I've had for a while. I um, also got her a lamp for her bedroom. Uh, let me see if I can find it's it right there. So, so I got her a strawberry lamp. <laughs> this is the box that came in. I might have to straighten up the box and make it a little bit nicer. I mean, they do <laughs> do mess these boxes up, and it's not it's not Timu's fault. It's customs. Customs is doing that. Yeah. So I saw this on a lady video, a lady hat. So I thought this would be cute for my daughter Zoe, my granddaughter, not my daughter. So, um, um, yeah. So I paid. What did I pay for this? I paid ten ninety eight for it. And this, let me open it up. Um, this thing's really twisted here. It's hard to open up. So, I thought it was so cute. It's got a dent in it. I hope that's going to come out. Yeah, so it's kind of got dented. Maybe I, I'll leave it out and it might be cute. It's soft. It's plushy soft. It has a USB cord that comes with it. And it's on and off. Is it not charged? It might not be. Oh, there it is. <laughs> isn't that cute isn't that cute mom and she can put it on her dresser or um, her little table so whatever they have in that night room. light yeah for a night light I think that is so cute I think she's gonna love it and it's very soft and plushy so she can squeeze it and she's not gonna hurt it in fact you could probably take this outside and probably wouldn't even get wet not like that though it is pouring out <laughs> just coming down so I'm glad I got home when I did or we would have been soaked so I got her that for her birthday and I think she I think they'll she'll like that. they come now that strawberry comes in it's called the strawberry night light it's silicone soft and it's for um, comes in pink as you see and then it comes in they call it like a, a strawberry red and then it comes in white so I like the pink I think she will too because she's my granddaughter she's got to love pink <laughs> it does have a little card in here for um, maybe some kind of directions if you can read those just need directions I guess, um, yeah, instructions for using the lamp. That's Chinese. Oh, we have some English here. <laughs> there we go. So I think you can take it apart to maybe change the light if you have to. Maybe that's the direction. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. Okay, guys, so we got that for her. And hopefully she'll like that. I think that's too cute. Alright, I would have liked that in my room if I was a little girl. I'm sure you would. Yeah, I would have. Okay, moving on. Okay, okay. Alright, I got this for my grandsons. This is a, it's called a jelly balloon doll. It's a ball. 
So I'm gonna, their birthdays are coming up, both of them, they're back to back. So I'm just gonna put it in one of them and put for everyone on it because um, there's, there, um, Two girls and two boys. There's two girls and two boys because my daughter does not live with her husband and he's moved on and has someone else now. So, um, yeah, so this could be for all of them. They could play in the backyard and have fun. I'm going to show you what it looks like on here. Uh, there you go. That's what the ball is going to look like. I think it will be fun. They have... These are the colors they have it in. I think you can see it. I don't know. There you go. And, uh, yeah. So, um, this thing's cool. It, it's a bubble ball toy for kids. Inflatable water bubble ball. Water. A balloon beach ball. Garden ball for outdoor play, indoor play. So you can use it for all. Oh, wow. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. So you can see, and then you can see the kids playing out there. Because I'm not going to open it up. It's a gift. So um, I'll let them figure it out. Yeah. And that'll be fun for them. But I thought, I thought this would be cool. So I got that, and I paid two sixty nine for that. So you went all out, dear. Yeah. <laughs> well. I'll get more stuff for them, but i um, slowly getting stuff now. Yeah. For their birthday. The birthday's October and November. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. So, I have two other things that are left, but they're the same thing. This is for my mother. This is a large laundry basket. Waterproof. It's waterproof laundry basket so I hope she likes these Ooh, they're nice nice and big um, yeah so you straighten it out and she I got these for her because she's got a couple baskets but they're they're not waterproof they're old and they're old and she needs to get rid of them so this is how big it is inside guys that's pretty big, and they have bigger ones. Yeah, this is nice. That's the medium size. Yeah, and they're waterproof, so if you have wet bathing suits, wet towels, anything like that, and you throw them in here, you're going to be fine. Um, the baskets she has are like a woven basket, so if they get wet, they're not supposed to. They're wicker, and they hold the smell, which one I don't like. So we're going to throw them out, and she's got little handles on here. So she could take this and put it on her walker and go to the laundry room and do her own laundry. I try to let her do her own laundry and she does the folding. So she folds my clothes too. So that's her job because she won't do dishes. I don't do dishes anymore. She won't do the dishes. So um, I that's don't fine. clean anymore. She won't clean either. It's terrible. But um, yeah, she's she she does she will do her own laundry and it's good for her to do something i make my bed and she makes her own bed so um you know it helps to do that um yeah so i got two of them Here's, it's the same size same thing so i'm not gonna take this out so um yeah and i paid let me see what i pay for these 718 for them i paid i got a partial refund on them and right now there's 708. So I did okay on that. I like them very much. You like them? Yeah. I think I think they're gonna work out really good. I think they'll be nice and handy. And um, you could also put like smelly stuff inside, you know, just spray them with Lysol or something inside too. Oh afterwards. yeah, that's what I will do. Yeah, to keep it nice and fresh. So um yeah. Yeah. Now, can you wash these? I don't know. If yeah, you, you can wash. wipe them out. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you can wipe them out, but I don't know if you could put them in the washing machine or. I not. don't think I'd want to. It's got a wire up here, you know, to hold it to so keep it open. Yeah. I would be afraid of the wire getting bent and messed up in the washing machine, but I just wash them, like you know, wipe them down. Wipe them down. That's what okay. we'll do. Yeah, that's what I would do. 
So those are for you. So now you can do your laundry. So I've been doing it. Chop, chop with the laundry woman. And um, yeah, so that's it guys. I do have another one coming. It should be here in the next couple of days. So we'll be doing another one. And I have one coming. And she has one coming because when I got her her cell phone, she, I put Timu on her phone so she can pick out her own things. And mine are... No, you're not going to tell them what it is. Oh. No, you're not. So, when that stuff comes, we're going to do a video on that stuff, too. Um, she did get a couple of shirts, and we just opened them up. We didn't do a video on them because she only got three shirts. She bought two. She got two shirts free. And then she got this little outfit that she has on now that she bought this. So I think she paid nine something for that. And um, yeah, she bought that. And she they got really shorts likes, to match. Yeah, she really, really, really likes it. So um, it's yeah, good quality. But I wasn't gonna do a video on just three shirts, so um, I just let her open it up. And we were kind of in between going back and forth from the house to the camping place. So um, you know, so I just let her have those. And open up but the next one she has a little bit more in and we'll open that up together on the video so you guys can see what she got okay yeah all right so that should be coming anytime soon too so and there'll be more there'll be more <laughs> i'm afraid it's called uh, an addiction an addiction <laughs> addiction timu addiction yeah so i'll i'll let you know how my stuff goes. I'm going to do some videos on this stuff so you guys can see at the end. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I made it long. Um, I talk too much maybe sometimes. Um, but I wanted to explain about the grooming thing. Um, I'm sure a lot of people feel the same way. Um, but that's where we are with Bruno's doing his hair. And so. we'll test out the grooming stuff on the poor dog. And... Uh, We'll let you know. I how. like that we. I don't think there's a we in that. I think there's a monkey on that one. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to end this now. And then I'm going to take some videos at the end. So, take care. And see you guys in the next one. Monkey says she's out. Bye, y'all. Bye. Okay, guys. So, now I got my purse on. I'm going to show you. I, I loaded it up. Let's see. It's full. Yeah. So, I used all compartments. I have my, um, you can put your makeup and little things in this one. I put my makeup in there. I only carry a few things. I'm not a makeup person. I have my cell phone in here, which is nice. I can carry it in here instead of where I was carrying it. I won't mention it. And then I have our checks. And I have my little wallet in here. And I'll show you what I did in here. I put all my change in here and I still have an empty one here and then I put all our cards in here as you can see so I have loaded that up I hope I don't like the zipper so much I think they could have made a better zipper on here I hope it doesn't break because it does stick it could be because it's new but um, I think they could have put a better zipper on here. But I do like it. I really do. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I put it in here. And just zip it up. And there you go. And you can carry it this way. Like that with the handle. Or I'm going to bring you down so you can see. Um, back up a bit for you. Or you can carry it like that. I like the strap. It's very comfortable, the strap. It's not plasticky, it's material. But the problem is you got this parachute here so it's waterproof, but then you got the strap that is material and it's not waterproof. That could be a problem. But really, it's, it's a comfortable strap, for especially for my neck um, and my arm. So, because it goes in my shoulder there and that's where your nerves go down into your arm. So, yeah. So I think it's going to be handy. I like it a lot. I'll be back for the next one. Okay guys, so now I've got my white shoes on. I hope you can see them. There you go. Very nice. 
Um, my mom put him on. She had a little bit of trouble, but her, she has bad feet. Um, if you have bad feet like her, you probably have a hard time getting them on. But they did fit her when she got them on. And she liked them. She thought they were comfy. They're very light and airy. They're not heavy at all. Um, yeah, you do have some grip here. I can feel it. I like them because they had the little holes in them. And in Florida, you know, your feet sweat. So, especially if you're going walking or jogging or anything like that, hiking. So you want something that has a little bit of air in it, and that's why I like them. I'm going to put the pink pair on so you can see them. Be right back. Okay, guys, so now I have the pink ones. Whoa. <laughs> okay, guys, so I now I have the pink ones after falling. Um, there you go. Um, I think, I don't know. I think I like the white ones better. The feel inside of them was more comfortable for whatever reason. Um, could be a different um, vendor. Maybe that's a reason. They do have the grip. You know, I feel they're grippy. Um, there's something in there that feels hard that I'm not happy with. So be careful when you do your vendings. Um, you've, you know, um, make sure you read the reviews and see. Yeah, I hope most of them are honest. I think most of them are. Um, they try to be, but there's a few out there that just do whatever, you know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to walk with these um, around. I do like them. I like the color. I think they're pretty. But I think the white ones were more comfortable, if you want to know the truth. And I paid a lot less for them. So, yeah, I think it matters on the vendors. I really do. And who's making them and how well they take pride in it. Because it, it makes a difference. So, I'll be back. I'm going to do her walker with her little cup holder. Okay guys, so I've been working on this thing for her walker. I'm not happy. Mm -mm. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to bring you down and show you why. Wait, so you guys can see. Uh, there you guys see it. Okay. Alright, so in the picture, it shows that you put this the um, thing right here. Put it up by her arm here, by her here, in the archway here. But it shows that these bars are a little higher and they have a bigger space in between before you have this arch here on that walker. That's what they're showing. So I put it up here and I'll show you how you do it so you can see what the problem is. Um, yeah, I'm quite disappointed. And we wanted this so badly for her cup that she likes so much. And uh, it's not going to work. And I'll show you why. i got to get it. I have it so tight because I'll show you. I'd just rather show you. All right, i got to unloose now. And then got to take it off real, really bad. Okay. So what you do... This thing right here, you have to turn it to make it tighter and it widens up or whatever. And then you have this part right here that tightens or loosens, whatever you want to make it work right. And ooh, I got it really tight because I was trying to get her bottle to work. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens here. You put it right here. And you can get it on there and see it's slanting. And I hope you guys can see that. It is slanting forward. And it's supposed to be straight like that. But you can't because of the archway and her walker. So even if you bring it down, it's going to be like that. It's, it's going to go forward. So I tried to do it like this the best I could, and I'll show you what happens. So 
So you twist it on, and I got it pretty wide to get it on there too. I have to have it pretty wide. So it takes me a few minutes to get it going here and twist it back up. Come on. Stupid thing. And as you're twisting, it's trying to go forward some more. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, now I'm getting it tighter here. All right. All right, so now I got it tight, and then I got to tighten this one up here, and now you can see. But you see how forward it is? It's not up and down like it should be. All right, so I have my phone, my phone here. I'm using my phone, and you have the cell phone here. Um, I think I had it right here, right? It has a little slide here. Um, maybe I have it on the wrong side now. Oh, you could put your cell phone like this. Okay, so you could do it this way and put your cell phone on the side here. Um, yeah. And let me see. And then, and then what this happens is the cup fits. Oh, wow, that works good. I just fixed it, I think. Not really. But it is slanted. As you can see, it's not supposed to be. But that works. It was falling over. It kept falling over. And these cups are heavy, especially when you have liquid in them. Um, this is not cheap plastic, I don't think. I think it's pretty sturdy. I'm not, you know, um, that would be the way you would have to do it. That's the way we would do it. It kept falling off and kept falling off. So maybe I had it the wrong way. I don't know. But I put my cell phone in the front. And it seemed to work better. I also did down here. Tried to do it here. I don't, can you see? I can't see if you guys can see or not. Um, here. There we go. I had it right here. So I thought, well, maybe we need to move it down here. And it just right over. So maybe that's the way it's got to be. And um, we'll put your cell phone in there. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got her cell phone in the front. I think before I had it over here. I don't know how I did Maybe that. That's what Maybe that was the reason why it was falling over. I think I had the cell phone over here somehow. I don't know how I did that, but I did. So I want you to get up. I'm going to get my mom to stand up with her walker and walk around and see if she can pick that cup up. Let her stop. And let's say she had to stop to take a drink. See if she can lift it out of there. Um, I'm going to take you off the tripod. I'll be right back. Okay. Now you're going to walk. Okay, let's say you're thirsty. Stop. Take, take your cup. Take it out. Drink it. Put it back in. Nope, you gotta follow the handle. Okay, so you do it a few more times and see how you like it. Now I want you to turn around. You don't have to go far. Um, turn around. Okay, let's take it out again. Let's say you have to get a drink. It's easy to get it out. It's not hard to put it back in. You it can works do fine. it? Yeah. Now take your cell phone out. Okay, you gotta make a call. Do do do. You're making a call. Now you're gonna put it back in. That's easy enough. So whatever I was doing, I must have did it wrong. But um, <laughs> it's still slanted. I don't like the slanting on it. Um, I don't know, but that's the best I could do for it. And we, I will. Um, she can also put it on her wheelchair, which is right over there. We use a the wheelchair, like let's say we go to an event. Um, you know, something that is far and she can't walk it. So, um, but sometimes I have to use the wheelchair to go to Walmart because they don't have their chairs are all gone or something. So I always use that as a backup. I usually have it in the car, but I haven't had it in the car lately. My car is full, full of camping stuff right now. So anyways, so what do you think about it? You think it'll work? I think it will. It looks odd. 
but I think it'll work and it it's sturdy enough. It, it's good enough. You think so? Yeah, I really so. like it. Because well, it wouldn't stay standing. No, it won't. This. No, it wouldn't stay on it the stayed. on the thing. Let's not show this. <laughs> that was my cup that just fell over. That has water in it. Okay, hold on just a minute. <laughs> okay, what she was saying, she was sitting the cup on here, like so. And if she walks, it wobbles. You see how it wobbles? And it's dangerous. It's going to fall and probably break. So she puts it in here, up here, and pushes it in. I think she'll be fine. We'll, we'll let you know if we like it or not. I, it's, it's an iffy thing at this moment. <laughs> because I before, um, it, was, it was tipping right over. So whatever I did this time, <laughs> when I turned you guys on, uh, I, I must have got it where it needed to be just to keep it there. We'll let you know if it stays tight or if it loosens up during the day while she's, she's got this on here too. Because some of these will loosen as time goes and then they just fall off. So we'll see. We'll check it out. And I'll let you know in another video how well it's been working. Alright. Um, okay, then on to the next one. Okay guys, so now I got her laundry basket here, her new one. I'm just going to do the one because they're both the same. Um, so um, this is what it is. She's just got her regular clothes in here. And uh, yeah, so what I'm going to get her to do, because I'm trying to test her to see if she can carry this into the um, laundry room. And I'm not going to go into the laundry room, but I want to see if she can pick it up. And she should be able to because this is light. But if she's got heavy, heavy stuff like her quilt, her blankets, or anything like that, it might be a little harder for her. Um, but we'll test it out with this one and see how well she does. Okay. So, there you go. She has a hard time getting up. It has the handles on it. I want you to use the handles. She's not going to use the handles. So, there you go. So it fits on her walker pretty good, not bad. It's better than the laundry baskets. Yeah, you think so? Yes, well the laundry baskets just sat on top, kind of light yeah. on top. Yeah, because she had a wicker one and it just laid on the top and I don't like those. And she's had them a long time. She had them in her, her own home, so um, we've all used them. So it's no, just, I like these. It's time for her to have something. Well, you can put a lot of laundry in there. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So you can use one for your clothes, and then you can use one for your wet stuff. Yeah. Yeah, because she has wet stuff. So I'm not going to explain that. Um, yeah, so what do you think? I want you to pick it up with the handles, though. They should have had the handles on the end. So if you have to carry it, what do you think? Well, if there was a lot more clothes in it, it'd be a lot heavier. Well, yeah. we. She just did laundry, so she doesn't have much <laughs> to really do. But I want her to be able to do this on her own. And she has a bad arm, too, so, um, yeah. I can do this. You think this so? This is doable. Yeah. So, so you like them? Yeah. And what I like about them is the material on the inside is plastic, so you can wipe them out. Yeah. I really like that. I like the depth of them. Yeah. Um, mine I have is a, uh, what do they call it? Um, what do they call them? Those baskets that I have for my laundry. Plastic. Well, they are. They're, they're from, um, oh, what's that company? I can't remember. I, I never can remember anything ever uh, uh, after the accident, so I have a hard time thinking. I don't, um, I don't know what name it is. No, I don't. It's not Minute Maid. Minute Maid is lemonade, but it's kind of like that. <laughs> yeah. Closet Maid? Closet Maid. That makes closets. I don't know, but I can't remember. They're a big product, huge product. So uh, mine's completely plastic. I can rinse it out with a hose and... Whatever, because they do get sand in them. They do get dirty on the bottom of them. Yeah. And I don't like anything that has cloth on the inside. I don't think laundry baskets should. 
Um, they hold smell, they hold dirt, and even, stuff even like that. Even the material on the outside, it's more like stuff you'd have in a boat. Uh huh. Yeah, you could use them for boating. Yeah. Yeah, you, easily. You, like if you had a, a big cruise yeah. boat and you wanted to go far away and you want, you could probably just get one of these. I mean, they had different sizes. They have a medium size, so you don't have to get the large. This is but, a medium. No, those are larges. They are large. Did we get large? Yeah, we got large. Yeah. Really? Yeah, they're both large. They have a small size too. Yeah, they have a small size. So it depends on what you need and what you what would be best for you. But yeah. yeah. I don't know what you use a small one for. A single person by themselves. Women, you know, men, who are, who knows. Anyways, you could use it for the beach if you have the small one. Yeah. Just put all your wet clothes, your your sandy stuff and you can throw them in there. Yeah, that's true. You can yeah. use that. And use the small one for that. Yeah, you look pretty silly walking down the beach with this. So guys, that's it for my video for now. Um, I'll do the clipping thing maybe in a separate video with Bruno. Um, not doing that today. Sorry. No, I'm in too much pain. And it's just tired from camping. So I hope you liked the video and I hope you like my stuff. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in anything, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll let you know where I got it. Um, I don't want to put it all down in the description. I did that once and it's, it's not easy to do that. Um, yeah, but I'll let you know about the cup holder if you're interested because these you can use on anything. Strollers, baby strollers you can use them on. You can use them in, for um, uh, bicycles. Yes, that's, I think you can use that for a bicycle because the thing screws and yeah, you can use it for different lengths of the bar. So yeah, I, you probably could use it for a bicycle. I think it'd be great for a bicycle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So at least now you got something. Hopefully it won't fall in and give out on you. We'll have to see. But yeah, because I'd hate for her stuff to fall on the floor. But I don't really like how it's tilting, but... It is what it is. So maybe that's the only way we can keep it on there where you're going to have your cup on there. Because it is a heavy cup. Very heavy cup. So anyways, that's it for now, everybody. Um, hope you like it. And we'll get another one in a couple of days. Thanks for watching. And take care. Have a good day. Monkey Sisters out for now. Bye, y'all.